here in Hawaii, we have uh, two large, very active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. They have very, um, we call mafic or magnesium and iron rich lavas that differ from the kind of lavas that we see in most of the mainland volcanoes that are more explosive. These are hotter, they come more directly from the interior of the earth. And so they're, they're not as explosive as what we normally see, they're more fluid. Kilauea is almost continuously supplied at about somewhere around five cubic yards a second of magma comes from deep inside the earth into these lower magma chambers. It blows the lower magma chamber up like a balloon and pressurizes it, allowing magma to be pushed up into the upper magma chamber. That upper magma chamber then lifts the magma that's in the standing cylindrical column or vent until it gets to the surface. All of the things that are happening at Kilauea now, I mean, the starting point for almost all of that now is 2018 because it's it really reshuffled what's happening at the volcano. I have gone back and forth. I've said, well, this is going to die out. And I've also said, this is going to be the eruption for the rest of my life. So somewhere in between those two things is probably where the answer lies. Um, but right now, and, and I think this is the fascinating part of what's happening up there in terms of the dynamics. It's really in, I mean, I keep using kind of the same term, but it's really in a steady state. So the pressure builds up for a week, we get an eruption. The pressure goes down to where it was the last time. It builds up to the same kind of space and then it happens again. So it seems to be really happy right now just doing what it's doing. 